Keep an eye on Grants Pass with the Daily Courier's webcams located on the Rogue River, in downtown Grants Pass, and at the Rogue Valley Humane Society. See what's going on today at thedailycourier.com. Tuesday evening, David Goss stood in front of the facility that helped change his life. The juvenile shelter and detention center on F Street that now sits vacant for lack of funding. He was one of a handful of speakers, mostly from law enforcement, who urged the public to vote for public safety at Tuesday's vigil for juvenile justice. Measure 17-59 would tax county residents $1.19 per $1,000 in assessed property value for five years. It would raise between $7.5 million and $8.8 million per year beginning July 1st. The tax would cost property owners $238 a year on a property assessed at $200,000. First, one I would say, you know, I, I'm sorry to my community for all the all the destruction that I caused uh, during my youth. I was uh, I made a lot of bad decisions. Thankfully, our community was well-staffed and equipped to handle troubled youngsters like me during my adolescence. I didn't appreciate the community resources back then, but looking back as an adult and productive member of society, I'm grateful for our local law enforcement, the Juvenile Justice Center, and other sources of structure that became a beacon of light during my darkness. Um, I just wanted to, most of the people that are here today know how important a juvenile uh, department is to a community, and I'm hoping from this we take this out and kind of keep sharing with the community. But Perns Betray was the movement that allowed local governments to take care of our youth, those kids that couldn't have help getting taken care of. If this facility had been opened several years before it was, they would have been able to help my grandson uh -huh. and uh, because there was no help for him he is basically a, a criminal and he's 33 years old now and still serving time. You can read more on this story in the April 23rd print and online editions of the Daily Courier. Hi, I'm Lynn Romer from Cascade Metal Recycling. After putting an ad in the Daily Courier, we did more business in four and a half days than we normally do in half a month. Start your business on a proven path to success today.